Hey, baby, what you got cooking here? Well, today I'm going to be making one of my very favorite fire roasted salsa recipes ever. Really? Yes. I have red hot peppers. I already tasted them, they're hot. I have some yellow peppers, some tomatillos, some white onion, some jalapeno, some green onion, some boca fina is one of the spices that I love to put in my salsa. And I have some lovely uh, um, Roma tomatoes. Those make for a good fire roasted salsa. But I want to show you, and I have um, some cilantro, of course, there'll be some olive oil, some pepper, some salt, and uh, some lemon juice or maybe some vinegar to um, preserve it. But I want to show you something. See this? This came out of all this chili here. I do this for a, one big huge reason. These seeds sit in the pocket of your gut and which causes you heartburn and for most people a lot of pain um, it's not good for your colon and these seeds don't digest so a lot of people have issues with um, and they don't eat salsa because of all of this I've got some avocado oil heating up these pans these cast iron pans made in the USA you want to use your good gloves Hey folks, make sure to stick around to the end of this video. We'll be announcing the Wingnut Wednesday uh, giveaway where we'll be giving away some of the super clean degreaser. Okay? Because Grillaholics. Yep, Grillaholics. Because uh, these are gonna be these handles are gonna be really hot. In fact, they're heating up already. Yep, so we've got here, we've got the camp chef, two burner, explorer, camping stove. And we took off the griddle top so that we can use it how the uh, inventors actually intended it to be used. A couple of nice uh, cast iron pans. So if people are interested in the recipe, where can it be found? Oh, in our link on our channel. What? Sassy's favorite uh, fire roasted salsa recipe ever. We're going to throw all these tomatoes in here. Tomatoes? Yep, these are tomatillo oh, tomatoes. Tomatillo, okay. Not quite tomato. Okay. Yes, it is. It's pretty close. I'm going to give it a little more oil. That's okay. I don't want them to stick. Roast up pretty fast. So I've got to keep an eye on them. What you got there? These are Roma tomatoes. Oh, here's Roma tomatoes. Put some oil in there as needed. Well, that's the roasted part, guys. Usually I put oil in my salsa, but when I um, fire roast it out here, um, it's got, I use a lot of um, olive oil, so I don't need to add any more when I actually preserve it. It's our roasting oil. Just throwing your peppers in there. I just really like that roasted flavor in my salsa so that's gonna be really good okay these are jalapenos I forgot to core this one on the other side but I did hollow it out I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing these in the pan oh these are just about there Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna finish roasting up all this uh, chili and then we'll get inside and we'll finish this fire roasted salt on the, on the stove. All right, everyone, we're back in the kitchen. We're gonna uh, start putting this yummy looking fire roasted salsa recipe together. Here, I've got some green onions. We're just gonna... Done. Beautifully chopped, perfectly chopped. Cilantro. I have two bunches, fresh cilantro. This is an older model, more when they first started uh, coming out. Let's see, there's, it just says KitchenAid on it. <laughs> just says KitchenAid, okay guys. With, uh, you guys wanna check this out, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, leave a link to our Amazon store for all these kitchen gadgets and one similar so you can uh, check it out. You can buy a newer model. This one I've had for almost 10 years. They last forever. And it's take been good it's it. been good to me. Take care of it. They'll take care of you. I thinking why did I roast these if I was going to take the skin off? Well, the skin Yeah, how are you going to get the roasted flavor? So. It's it's all right here. Mm. The chili. So I had to get my um, chili apron on because I started getting messy and getting um, tomato all over my shirt. This is a messy job, wear gloves. And be sure to check out our Amazon store for control. Yep. big old pinch of pepper. You can use as little or as much salt as you like. I put that much to begin with and then I put more later if I need it. This is called Boca Fina. Okay, my brother um, got me this from a Mexican restaurant in, um, I mean a store market Phoenix. in Phoenix. And it's got a great ooh, blend of herbs in it. That, Oregano. Uh, yeah, but it went up my nostril. So as I said, I'm not gonna put any oil because we used lots of oil when we were fire roasting all this chili and tomatoes. And I'm gonna mix it all up. God, this looks good. Mmm, that looks so good. Here, to have a look. So I'm cooking this down a little bit because there is a lot of um, juice in here. I know you like it cooked down, but doesn't that look lovely? Really and it good. tastes delicious, but you know what? I almost forgot a key ingredient. What's that? The roasted garlic. <laughs> well, it's lucky we thought about that. <laughs> and here there it is. Go. All right. I'm just gonna take this whole pan out. I don't wanna burn my fingers. I cut the top off. We'll just cinch these open here. This, this is really hot and look at how lovely you put um, avocado oil over the top cut the top off put olive oil wrapped it in here and then put it in the oven for about 45 minutes can't squeeze it out like this look at that Ooh. yeah okay stop it Ooh, this is really hot Sassy's happened to be wearing some of the Clean Space Project 5.5 mil nitrile gloves that we've been reviewing lately. Now she's got a cotton underglove to that, uh, and these are XL size, so leave yourself some extra room to be able to use a, a cotton underglove. That's going to insulate a little bit so you can uh, grab hot things like this roasted garlic here. Uh, and so far, uh, babe, what do you think of those gloves? I like them. I like that they're thick. And, um, you know, whatever, if, if I have something hot in my hand, it doesn't leach through. All right, baby, so where can somebody find these gloves? 
on our Amazon store down in the link in the description. All right. Look at this. You don't. I don't even need to put this in my little chopper. Look yeah, right. isn't that beautiful? So that was at about 425 in the oven. It's like the little garlic for patty. For about 40 minutes. Uh, yeah, and then it's just going to go right in there. It's going to render down perfectly. And uh, look at that. I love boiled down salsa. It's kind of my favorite. Uh, you, you don't have to wait. You can actually eat it right now. He likes it cooked down. He doesn't like it runny. So we're just going to put this in here. Every little every little bit and that just combines in there so well look at that it just falls apart key ingredient right there guys key ingredient mm. oh baby this looks so good are we ready no wait a minute we need to pick a winner pick a winner we need to pick our winner for the wingnut wednesday Wing giveaway right. go to our oh, our random um a comment picker and let it do its thing and pick a comment and guess what what David Prescott, you are the winner yeah. of Winging Up Wednesday. Yay! All right, what, what, what does Dave get? He's going to win some um, super clean degreaser. Awesome. Okay, should be getting an original aerosol degreaser plus a pump action degreaser. Awesome, David Prescott. Congratulations. Appreciate you subscribing and being active here. And it's good stuff. You'll love it. You can yeah. clean all kinds of things with it. So um, this is the good stuff I want to see. So mm -mm -mm. look at this, guys. How long did this take? Not long. Um, I would say it took about maybe less than 30 minutes to get everything roasted. Okay. Well. And then I simmered it down for about 20, a big, about 40 minutes. And there we go. here we go. Mmm. First impression. Delicious. Delicious. Fire roasted flavors. It's good. It's mm. really good. Nice. Now, Usually, I have habaneros, I mix up the chilies and put all kinds of different ones in here. But as luck would have it, the markets I went to didn't have any habaneros. All right, I'm going in. Get this one right here. It's a little limp, honey. <laughs> oh, that's not what uh, she said. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my God. Grab a fresh chip. What do you think? I think you eat enough of the, that salsa, it'll start burning. Because <laughs> I can feel the heat. After Just the way I love it. <clears throat> Just the way I love it. Usually, oh man, I'm coughing. I went up my nose a little bit. But hey, that's salsa, guys. This is the best fire roasted salsa recipe that Sassy's made. Guys, uh, we're going to leave a link down in the description, obviously, to uh, all the products we used or ones close to it to our Amazon store. Also, the uh, recipe uh, when sassy is actually give me the recipe we're gonna post it so yeah this is awesome guys mm. Mm. all right all right everyone thank you for joining us today make sure to make sure to like and 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 subscribe and smash that button and uh we'll see you on the next one <laughs>